Hey everybody, it is Margaret and I am going to do a haul video for you. But before I get started, I want to make sure that the feed looks good. So if you are popping in live, go over there and leave a comment in the chat and let me know that the feed looks good. Sometimes when I'm downstairs, the internet is not so good. So I just want to make sure before I really get going that it looks okay and it's not all pixelated and I don't know. You know what I'm talking about with the little blue swirly swirly things <laughs> yeah it looks good okay good good um yeah so i was like what do i call this something about being hot because it is hot y'all um yeah and one of the estate sales i went to today they didn't have the air on so it was inside it was packed and by the time i look okay just this is already kind of dried but before i by the time i left there my hair was soaked and so I felt like I got in the car and I brushed it out and I looked like, was it Robert Robert Palmer? You know that one video back in the 80s and the girls all had the really slicked back hair? Anyway, I had it all slicked because my hair was so wet from sweating in this estate sale. So I was like, y'all better give me some good deals. I'm sweating a lot. Um, all right, so yeah, let's do this. And I am, this was the not, okay, there's nowhere clean for me to sit right. There's nowhere <laughs> in this house that looks much better than this, or else I would have found it so I wouldn't have a big messy background for you guys, but that's just life. That's just life. Okay, I hope you guys are finding really cool stuff this weekend too. I went to some estate sales and a couple garage sales. I thought by hitting estate sales, I would be inside in the air conditioning. <laughs> that was what I thought. Um, but yeah, that's not how it went down. But I did get some hot deals. <laughs> So let's show you the hot deals. Now, I also have it all kind of mixed up, but I guess that's okay. So first, we actually, I got a couple things for, for me and my mom too. So I got this. My mom collects, one of the other things my mom collects is Flow Blue. Um, and so this is a, a transferware Flow Blue plate. And if you can see, like there's, there's fake Flow Blue where they like try to make it Flow Blue. And then there's old Flow Blue. And I think, I gotta show this to her and ask her, but I'm pretty sure this is an older, even though it's a transfer wear, like usually on fake Flow Blue, it's more uniform the way it flows, if you know what I'm talking about with Flow Blue. And then you can see it through the back. You can see where the, it's like the blue paint that they use didn't stay put and it like spread out and flowed into the white, you know? You can really see it in the back where the blue kind of like shows through and the pattern gets all like fuzzy you know well some flow blue plates can be worth a lot of money i don't think this one necessarily is but i thought you know it was a dollar and i told her it was it's got a chip in it she's like oh there if it's a really old one it doesn't matter but anyway i looked it up and i don't know there were similar -ish ones like this that were maybe 30 bucks but my my mom has some that she's gotten that were, were really expensive so that was cool so for i thought for a buck okay i'll get her this this flow blue plate okay let me say hey in the chat hey debbie and kaylee hello debbie porter nice to see you hey marcy and for real girl thanks um oh i do you okay hang on let me look at the feed let me make sure i'm not okay good 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 yeah it's so so humid right hey dana how's it going um yeah, we need air conditioning totally. It's how did people live down here before without it? Maybe it wasn't 114 or whatever the heat index is supposed to be Monday. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes, Dana, exactly. Um, you, oh, Princess Castro went to an AC estate sale without a AC today too. Oh my gosh. Maybe they just, maybe they cut the power off. I don't know. It was so hot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not in Central Texas, not the humidity, it's the actual heat. Oh, yeah, it's so bad, Marcy. Yeah, we're in, I guess you're in, where are you? I don't know. Are you in the Austin area too, or is bad? Okay. <clears throat> oh, Dana says, don't be jealous in the 70s in Western Washington. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, yeah. I was sitting on the patio yesterday evening just trying to chill. I get, you know, hang out by myself for a minute. I had to come in, and it was covered. So hot, so hot. Yeah, yeah, I've got some jewelry. I got, I got some other stuff too. I just got into talking to everybody, so I haven't gone on, I haven't gone forward anymore. Okay, so I got another thing for my mom too. Um, the estate sale. This one, this stuff was 
which, how much was this off? It was because one of them was 50% off at one estate sale and the other one was 25% off. So I got mom an Alice. Uh, this is a Disney in the made in Japan. It said 15, but it was, I can't remember if this was, I bet it was 25% off. So I got this for mom. It's an Alice because she doesn't have enough Alice apparently. Let's see. I can't make my eyes like Alice's. Okay. Never mind. All right. So yeah, yeah. The blue, yeah, it was a mistake on the flow blue. And then they've tried to mimic it. And so I have to show, I can't, my mom can tell if it's a reproduction flow blue or if it's a real flow blue, you know, as soon as something starts being worth money, people try to reproduce it. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. And then I got this, this was at the hot, the crazy hot estate sale, but I just fell in love with these little, little owls. And so I paid up, I think I paid five bucks for this. So I was, I, I think I might keep it. His little leg is broken. One of their little legs is broken. But I really liked them. I thought they were so unique. So these these might be something I, gosh, I haven't shown you anything I'm gonna sell yet. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I haven't been to very many thrift stores lately since I've been here. I've been to a couple, but can't, it's so, we got so much. Look at this, look at this mess. Bryan College Station, oh yeah. Oh my gosh, forecast for me, she, Marcy says is 106. And that's not the heat index, that's the actual temperature. Yeah, only 102 there, yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks, Thelma. Nice to see you. Hey. Yeah, it's Randy's was really good. He was working on dishes. And we don't have a dishwasher, by the way. I don't know if I ever told you. There was so much more to the saga about this house. I figured y'all were probably sick of hearing about it, so I quit telling you. I actually pulled down the videos where I'm complaining about the house because I just started thinking. This is one of those in the middle of the night when your brain starts clicking and you're like, if this guy really did all this stuff, if he really is this bananas. Maybe I shouldn't have these videos up telling everybody how crazy he is. Because if he sees it, you know, you know, you just never know what people will do. So I ended up, I ended up, well, I made him private because I was just like, and it's only in the middle of the night. Why is that? Like in the daytime, I can rationally think it's probably fine, whatever. But in the middle of the night, I would wake up and just think, that's a really bad idea. You know, what if he's like, what if he sees this or one of the neighbors like find out what I do and like share the video with him? Yeah. You know, tell me your brain does this. <laughs> you know, and then I, in the, like, it'll be one in the morning. I'm like, I gotta go make that private. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. So yeah, I mean the dishwasher, we don't have a dishwasher. I probably won't have one for another week. That's fine. Whatever, whatever. So Randy was working on them by hand. Um, yeah. I, one of my neighbors said that they were real, a really fun couple. That's okay. Um, and I, you know, but they also did say, oh my gosh, I have a funny story. One day I was taking a shower and he went out and he turned my water off um, because he had a water leak in his house and he meant to turn his water off, but he turned my water off. Ha ha ha, wasn't that funny? And now in my brain, I'm just going, where was the water leak? <laughs> I need to find where the water was leaking, you know? Um, and then the neighbors that are on the other side, we just met yesterday, and they've only lived in the neighborhood for three months. But the neighbor across the street, they may be moving out. The ones that we got the, the, the bikes and stuff from that, if you saw, sorry, I know it's a haul video, but come on, it's gossip time, y'all. Um, yeah, so there, there was, I'll tell you later, maybe when they move out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so at the super hot garage sale, I got some glasses. <laughs> I could tell you a little bit about that. I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. Okay, so some of the glasses I got were a dollar at this one garage sale, and they're so cool. Okay. Yeah, the neighbors next door that we just met last night are really nice. Um, young couple. They got a two-year-old little boy, and they just moved in, so... Okay, so look at these glasses. These were a buck. Oh, thank you, Maria. <laughs> so there's these ones. Aren't they cool? And these sides are metal. So they're super vintage. Look, you can even see the like bifocals in there. Oh, you know, we gotta, we gotta do it. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> I have no character that goes with that. Cause honestly, when I look through those, I see my grandmother. Cause I think she wore glasses like this. And my aunt, oh my gosh. My aunt, when she was a little girl, wore glasses like that. Okay, 
So yeah, these are uh, wait for some of these other ones. A buck. These ones were a buck. A pair. Look at these rectangular ones. Aren't they fun? They're so cool. And they are. And the cool thing is sometimes when you find some, they'll have like gold frames. I don't think these ones are, but I'm just saying. Uh, of course, I don't have anything with me to look closer. Okay, so Mr. McGee, yeah. And there's these little, you know, that was in there. Okay, here's another pair. I got quite a few. Because one, they sell, they can sell for good money and they're small. So, and they're in fair shape. So do you guys, yeah, your grandmas, <laughs> growing up we wouldn't be caught dead in plastic frames. Oh no. Ooh, okay. How about these ones? They're not so strong. Um, what was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh, glasses, y'all. I have not had very much sleep. I'm just gonna say right up front. I'm surprised that I'm talking right now. <laughs> Randy was trying to talk to me earlier and I was just, um, okay, okay. <laughs> I couldn't, I like construct a sentence, but I laid down on the couch for a little bit. He took them somewhere. I'm sure he told me where, but he took them somewhere. <laughs> okay, then here's another pair that was a dollar. This was actually kind of a fun estate sale. I wish it wasn't so hot. These look like the ones my mom wore when she was working, you know, in the 80s, 90s at the library. These are the, like, glasses my mom was like, <sighs> enough, Margaret. <sighs> oh, Margaret. That, that was my mom's, like, go-to whenever I was too weird or, like, said weird stuff. <sighs> oh, Margaret. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So those are my mom's oh, Margaret, even though the, these are not really my mom's. Oh, Margaret glasses. Yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> okay, then another pair. We got a couple more from this um, estate sale. They were just, I don't know. I was like, okay, they're a buck. Those are pretty cool with the metal frames on them. They got the cool bifocals and the cool sides like that. Yeah. I mean, they're in pretty good shape, too. I think it's a something craft. I can't, I'll have to look a little closer. So there's those. Wait till you see the next ones. These are like, you ready? B -b -b Benny and the Jets. You right? Benny, 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 Benny and the Jets. Okay, I'm not good with Elton John. I can't do him, but anyway, right? <laughs> They're Benny and the Jets, right? Okay, so <laughs> I, I would hate to even like, because can you see the, the like gradient effect on these, that kind of ombre? They get a little bit darker. Or is it just my imagination? No, I think they do. Anyway, they're really cool. They're blue. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I need sleep. Um, but those were a dollar. Aren't they awesome? <laughs> they're so cool. Maybe I could. You think I could pull them off? No, probably not. Bum, 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 bum. Anyway. <laughs> okay, then got a couple more pairs of glasses. These were three bucks. And these ones are okay. They were just, but I thought they were kind of cool. Simple. I guess I figured while I was at it. Now, these other ones, I got these for a dollar at a different garage sale. Hey, hey, Kim. <laughs> ready? Are you ready? I may have to like get these filled. These are called Dr. Peepers. Made in China. Are Dr. Peepers? It sounds so like keeping Tomish, but are Dr. Peepers reading glasses? Or are they fill, refilled online? Because there's a website for Dr. Peepers. If they are reading glasses, they're not very strong. Ready? Here we go. Look at these. Aren't they amazing? Oh my gosh. This could be for Penelope Bunch. That's all that's all. Today, <laughs> I am. <laughs> what was her secret agent? One of her secret agents, could, you know, one of her secret identities. Could be with these. <laughs> oh, you found a state your state sale in two jars. Look, look. I mean, they're they're. I don't know that there's any prescription in them at all. If they are, it's like exactly right for me. One or the other. Like so. Aren't they fun? Oh, they're ska. They're kind of ska, and they're kind of like cat's eye. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> I love the Penelope. Aren't they cool? I don't think that, I do not think there's a prescription in these. Or else it's super duper duper weak. Aren't they great? Maybe it's a weak prescription. 
Anyway, I felt like Pee Wee Herman. Anyway, okay, moving on, <laughs> moving on. It is just soda, that's all. Okay, so <clears throat> let me scoot you some of this other stuff. I got a few things for the kids too. I don't know if you wanna see that kind of stuff. They like little books. I'll show you. What would you sell those? I don't know, I have to look up Dr. Peepers. But they're cool, aren't they? They're so cool. You, I think I should keep them. Maybe I can get them filled in my prescription. Do you, I don't know that they're me. Are they me? Maybe if I had my big curly floofy hair, maybe they would look <laughs> Peeper, Dr. Peepers. Okay, so I'm like, Mikey especially loves little tiny books. And so these were a buck a piece at one of the <clears throat> one of the estate sales. Quotable America and Little Literary Cat. Those are for him. <clears throat> they had other ones like Dad, you know, like little books about dad or grandma or stuff like that. But <clears throat> it was so dusty. Sorry. I didn't think he'd be okay with that. Or want that rather. <clears throat> There's like a lot of dust on stuff. I mixed everything up, so I hope that's cool. It's not, I mean, I'll just have to try to remember. Oh, thanks. Yeah, maybe I'll try. Maybe. I mean, I'm sure I could get my prescription put in them. I'll have to see. Yeah, those are fun. Okay, so this was at the hot garage sale. I didn't know exactly what to make of this purse, but I figured somebody here would. It was $3 because it was 25% off, so it was 4 and then it was 3 So... This like, what do you make of this bag? It's a leather, All right? That's the inside. And it zips like so, and then it's like, how do you hold that? You know, how you can't like throw that over my shoulder, and you can't hold both sides. You know, you can't like carry your purse unless you just hold one chain. Anybody? Mystery zipper purse thing? Make a bag, maybe. It's really clean. It looks good. <laughs> it's like, okay, I could hang it on something. Just hold it from one end. You think, it, or maybe there was a handle that was connected to these chains, possibly. I mean, it's made of like nice leather. It's really thick leather. So put it on your belt. Oh, I could. It could be like a fanny pack, sort of, right? That would be a big fanny pack. And it'd be like, I'm going to eat you, fanny pack, because the zipper's in the front and not on the top. Get in my fanny pack. Yum, yum. Anyway, okay, <laughs> that's my, all right, there's that. <laughs> fanny pack, purse belt thing. Make a bag. Okay, that might be it, too. <laughs> or Horace, the man-eating fanny pack. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm scooching stuff over. <laughs> I got to go grab one. Oh, is it? <laughs> or it folds in half. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. No, because, like, the bottom is, like, really. I mean, possibly. Does it look weird? Oh. Oh, cool. Victoria? Toiletry bag. Oh, it could be a toiletry bag. Anyway, it's really cool. I guess I'll have to figure out what it is so I can describe it for sale. Okay, this is another one that I got. It was, oh, I should have kept better notes because one of the sales was half off, one was 25%. I think this is from the 25% off slide. I'm a sucker for like wallets and good leather stuff. So there's this leather wallet. And at first I thought this was missing part of the silver like inlay thing, but it's not. That's just the way it is. It's just abstract sort of. This really cool leather wallet. It feels like there's something in there. Hang on. Or else it's just really thick, good leather. Yeah, it's just really thick. I don't think, nope, there's nothing in there. Anyway, cool, huh? Yeah. That side doesn't feel as leathery, like the flat. No, that's leather. Okay, gotta smell it. Yeah, anyway, that's cool. Joy <laughs> pinata, there we go. Okay, so there's that. And then this one says it's a, it says it's goat skin, which, okay. So there's this leather wallet. Again, totally vintage. It's got the spiral notebook inside. 
<laughs> like that is a really good idea. And she's, he says a jewelry pinata. We need to totally do that. We need to have a jewelry party with a jewelry pinata. <laughs> okay, then this was a buck. Another little coin purse. This one is a vintage one. It is marked, or rather, it is labeled inside. Made in Hong Kong. So that was a buck. The prices were really good at this estate sale, as hot as it was. Um, I'm trying to see what else was from that particular one, the super hot one. Um, I got some jewelry there. Hang on a little bit. Let me pull this over. I'm trying to separate out what was from the hot garage sale or the hot estate sale, whatever. These were, and that was a different one. That was a different one. These were whatever these things are. Maybe you guys can help me with some of this. And this was, yeah, this was too. Okay. And there. Okay, that all went to another one. Okay. So, also from the super hot <laughs> garage sale, I got, or estate sale rather, I got this. And it was, so 25% off five bucks. And it looks like it would have like a little chain. The finish is kind of messed up on it, but it was cool. I don't know. I love this kind of thing, right? So like a little cigarette case, and then the other side, I guess you could put something else in there. Um, it's got a clip, so maybe like your money, your cards, or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And we were trying to figure out, James and I were trying to figure out if the center part opened, but it doesn't. It looks like it would. But Randy has us convinced that it won't. Unless we just make it. No, we don't want to make it, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so there's this. Just, I don't know, heavy duty cigarette case thing. Um, so also from this estate sale, I paid up for a couple pieces of jewelry. Oh, thanks, Debbie. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. Um, so I paid up for a couple of Art Nouveau pieces of jewelry. This is $14. Yes, I paid $14. Because I will tell you, I bought a pendant from Etsy not too dissimilar than from this for more than $14 for myself so it's like a really big pendant so this is um and she's scratched up and she's kind of a mess and there is a mark there but I can't it's so tiny maybe if I hold it up you can see it it doesn't look like a much of a mark I don't know what it is just my make it back oh okay whack the rhythm what Oh, <laughs> um, I'm looking back in the chat. Out of here. Okay, okay, right that. Okay, cool. And then this one also paid up for, but oh my gosh, so pretty. So it's a double chain. And then it's got these. I'm guessing they're, I think they're poppies or Tudor. Like these ones look like poppies, but then these look like the Tudor rose right there, sort of. Tell me what you think. And then it goes up to, this is, oh gosh. Um, is she one of the Greek gods? That's not Achilles, is it? Because it's a girl. Achilles is not a girl. But she's got the wings on her head. Is she a Greek goddess? Which one is she? I can't remember. And then there's that. Anyway, really cool. Who is she? She got wings on her head. Or is she Athena? Does Athena have wings coming out of her head like that? The goddess of war? Is Athena the goddess of war? <laughs> I don't know my Greek mythology very well, but it's awesome. Oh yeah, I, will. I have to, I have to just kind of look it up and figure it out because I I honestly I was like I don't know how much that is, but it's coming home with me. And if it were a shorter piece, I'd probably keep it. Cause I don't really wear necklaces that are this long, but look at it. So it hooks like so, and then it hooks like so. Isn't that cool? The wings are on the helmet. Okay, wait, wait, let me go back. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. You know, I know they're like not coming out or growing out of her head. Yeah, but which one is she? Nike. Is she Nike, okay, maybe. All right, okay, so there's that. And I know not only from this haul, but some of my other hauls, I've had people ask me for things. Mercury, okay. Maybe a Norse god. Ooh. Oh, gosh. I don't know. 
Um, and I and I normally will. I do normally sell stuff from the haul videos if you guys like stuff. It's just been crazy. I actually have boxed up and have it ready to be the label printed some vintage um, cake topper stuff, you know. And it's just like ah, everything happens. And I set things aside and everything happens. Is there a mark on the class? I didn't see one. Mm, this is the class. No mark that I can see. Isn't it really cool? It's such a cool piece, though. I don't. It's not silver. It's. I'm not sure what it is. It's cool though. You think there's a statue outside Buckingham Palace? Oh, okay. So okay, I'll have to look her up because everybody's telling me different things. Mercury, Nike, but then you know sometimes the Greek goddesses in the um. Oh, why can't think? Why can't I think? Because you haven't slept. That's why. Sometimes there's a crossover. You know what I mean? Very well made Victorian revival. There we go. They're really nice. Okay, then I got these three leaves for three bucks. So there's, you know, these kind of like gold dipped uh, aspen leaves, I think. So there's those. And then I also got at this estate sale some, these are gonna be little doodads for my kids. So they charged me a buck for it, even though it says three. Um, and it's a top of some, somehow you pull the string, Randy says, and then it, you pull you something string and then you it twist. Anyway, it's got wheels and gears and stuff. So I got it for the guys for their stuff steampunky stuff that they're into I don't know tinkering around with things so there's that okay I also got this little I think she just threw this in just a little clip this is some of my guys this stuff I got for the guys Greek or Roman yeah there we go and uh I always pick up measuring tapes because because <laughs> And then this was a this was a mystery. Okay, this was it says two bucks, but it was twenty five percent off. What is it? Um, there is a cross, and there is. At first, I thought that said something, but James says no, no. Let me know. And then, okay, so here's the thing: if it's not a bookmark. Look how thick this thing is. What is this? What is this? Okay, and it looks like it's mixed metal too, right? So this is like this bronze. And then this has got like some kind of silver tone metal up here. It's too thick to be a, I mean, did something get wrapped around this? Like there's like these notches on the side. Um, yeah, an exorcism. Jeffrey, you, you know, I could use this right now. I, d I had a conversation with my dad, and I was like, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to do a, uh, I'm going to have to look up DIY home exorcism. <laughs> because, and he, trust me, he's not into that kind of thing. So, But he was even like, yeah, you need to go find one of those, um, one of those voodoo, one of those voodoo people that can come to your house and get all the, the bad juju out. Yep, it looks like it's missing a bait. It looks like a key, an old church key. Oh, that'd be cool. Like in an old mission. I mean, we do have a lot of missions here. Um, yeah, an old church. I'm, gonna look, I'm a leather tool, right? This is like, yeah, I have no idea. Burn, you know, and I was talking to my sister about that, Jude, about burning sage. And I'm not really into that. Kind of, I mean, I'm, I don't disbelieve, but I don't know what I believe kind of thing. But the fact that even the ADT guys yesterday, the ADT guys, one of them was like this good old boy from the area where my family's from up in East Texas. And then this kid, like younger guy, both of them were saying that they thought the house was possessed. They were like, everything that we touch goes wrong in this house. And we've been doing the same exact job every day, twice a day for, ever <laughs> and they're like the, the things that have been happening here have never happened 
they they said a four hour job took them. They got here about eight eight thirty, and the last the guy didn't leave until like six or so. He was like here for ten hours to do a four hour job. I mean, even the thing with the um, <clears throat> we got the um, ring doorbell. He said this was the first time that it wouldn't. It wouldn't sync with our Wi-Fi. There was like, and not like he was like, okay, turn your Wi-Fi off on your phone, re-sign into your Wi-Fi on your phone, and it was just like, uh, it, it, yeah, I don't know. He, he said he has never had that happen. So, I, and I just said, you know what? I feel you because everything that we've tried to get done around here has gone wrong too. So, I don't know. My sister's gonna come probably next week with my dad though. They're gonna come to me. So we may be like, I don't know, like, I don't think she can dance, but I mean, maybe we'll like get some essential oils and like do a fairy dance around the house. <laughs> Google, Google the street and look for history. You know, I'm telling you what, and, and that, and yeah, so Jane, Jenny, I think my, I mentioned it to her and I was like, yeah, people have been saying burn sage. She's like, I know what to do. I know how to do that. She's like, I'll, I'll do it. I know how to do that. Like, okay. And then my a girlfriend of mine, she always anoints her ha new houses or places where she lives with oil. And so <laughs> I, at this point, I need it all because this is just, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we'll just say a few prayers. Yeah, right? Just bring it all on. We'll just do it all, right? Sage, smoke daily and put the house back on the market before you unpack everything. <laughs> We're here. We're here. And that's the weird thing, like, I don't get any weird vibes around the house. So that's the part that I'm just like, I don't know, you know, I mean, I know we saw more haul video, but you know, whatever. Okay, we'll get there. <laughs> we're gonna fling this, whatever we did, what did we decide this thing was again? We're gonna fling this thing around. Maybe this is a holy water spreader. And um, yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot, I don't know. Yeah, but I've been in houses or places where I'm just like, I get the heebie-jeebies here, like your skin crawls, or you just get like weird prickly feelings. That doesn't happen here for me at all. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Dan, forget it. No, my cats are, they can scare everything else away. A feather, sage, good for an each room. I'm ready, everything. <laughs> we'll just, I'll just walk you guys around the house and you guys can all like throw your, the good stuff at the house, right? Okay. Oh, I, my house used to be a doctor's house in the office 90 years ago. So at least, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right, Jude. I think the previous owners had a lot of aggression and anger. I definitely agree with that because that is something I do feel like, like a lot of tension, right? There's been a lot of tension in the house. So on all sides, and I figure, well, it's just removing, right? But it has been like an abnormal amount of tension in the house. So the sketchy doll, I don't think it's in the house. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> it might be. It might. You know what? No, no, no. Wait, what? No, no, I don't think it is. Because I think I took some dolls to my mom's house. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So that might be like just aggression in the walls or something. I don't know. Darkness. No parents. That's Batman. Okay, so again, <laughs> was there a graveyard that was moved? I don't know. I mean, there's, yeah. <laughs> there's that clown in the box. I don't, ah, we'll figure it out. This was happening before the doll. Yeah, yeah. Um, Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's still some other stuff up in the attic since we're on the topic and we, I, I'll, I'll just keep showing you this thing. Maybe this is like <laughs> back beasts. Um, so in the attic, there were like manuals from engineering trade shows, broken furniture, broken furniture, who puts broken furniture in their attic, um, rolls of carpet, like, I guess there was extra carpet when they did the carpet in the house and they put the extra rolls in the attic. And so I was telling Randy, get that out of there. Like, if we were gonna re-carpet the house, we're not gonna be like, oh, I know. Let's get the carpet that is in the attic and bring it down and use that. Because I'm sure 
no mouse has made a house in there. Right? I'm just like, <laughs> no clowns, no dolls, and never go in the attic. Yeah, and, and that we we're big like we don't put stuff up in the attic kind of people. So because there's no need for that, right? That is the mystery place that just stays where the AC is for me anyway. Right? Why carpet up there? So Randy brought down some of the stuff, um, broken furniture. Why would you put broken furniture in your attic? And it wasn't like nice furniture. It was like stuff you would get from Walmart, like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a rolling cart with like a butcher block on top. There were two of those broken up there. That's, oh my gosh, Julie, no. <laughs> we, and yeah, and we don't, we don't have a basement, so that's good. You think the cross is art, not utilitarian. Oh, okay, could be. Yeah. You don't think that's like a lock, a key, like they were saying? But then this looks like, I wonder if it's something to do with, oh, 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 I bet I know what it is. How do you think, what do you think about this being like a, a looming tool, right? When they like, with thread the the different like when they're making rugs or like making tapestries or something you know what i mean and maybe this is where something wraps around like with the fabric and they're like running the fabric through like maybe it's something like that what do you call it like a shuttle like a loom shuttle could that be it maybe i'm gonna look it up and find out <laughs> the carpet's just make waiting for the next leak um, it's really hot up there. That's the only thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to find, maybe that's what that is. Like a, I don't know what you call that. Like a, a shuttle, right? Looks like a key for a blanket trunk. Maybe like a, one of those big ones. All right. I'll find out. Okay. Let's move on to something else, right? We've been talking about the same one forever. Okay. Another thing I got there, I thought was going to be probably for the guys. So this was there, this cool clock. And it actually, you know, it was a dollar. And it, I don't know if you can hear. Where's the, where's the, can you hear this? It's ticking. Yeah, so it's working. And it says, it's so dark. I can't read what this says. Maybe if I hold it up, you guys can help me read it. Mm, I don't know if you can read that. Anyway, that was a buck. Uh, so, yeah, I gave it to my kids because they're, getting into that kind of like mechanical stuff right now. So pardon me. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Wait, where did it go? An Angel, too many edges for a shuttle, like these edges. And then this part kind of protrudes up too. So it'd be kind of hard to run it and make it stay smooth, right? Darn it. So maybe it is like the blanket lock key thing. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Psh. Right? Um. Have you made a video on jewelry items on eBay and when you should list for auction versus buy it now? I haven't because I don't normally do auction. I'm trying to think of an, a time that I would. Um, I think if I had like a really nice like James Avery piece that was retired that there weren't a lot of out there, maybe I would do that on auction. Maybe. Something like that. But normally I don't do auctions you used to have a clock like that when you went to school yeah my kids were excited and they were more excited that it was working and we even i showed him how to set the alarm on it because he was like because he was like oh it's not working the second hand's not not going and i was like that's not the second hand that's a that's an alarm hand i said this one doesn't have a second hand it has just the minute and the hour okay then at another um, garage sale no this was at an estate sale I have to look this up. This is a Coleco game, but I was like, well, I'll get it. Because I was thinking about, do you guys watch Nick Hills? And one time he got an, like an Atari game. It was like some random, I have to find out how much he sold it for. Or if you guys know, there was like some old cartridge game that went for so much money. It was just this weird fluke. I, mean, I don't know if it was a fluke or what, but He'd gotten some games and he put it on auction and gosh, I'll have to, I'll have to find out from him how much it went for, but it was like handwritten on there or something like that. It didn't have like a fancy label or anything. Show that up to the camera. This one. I think so. Um, so yeah, I, 
six K in China. Okay, yeah, it was like six grand. It was a huge amount, right? I didn't want to say how like say it wrong because it was a lot of money for this one like car. And even on these, he was he was watching these um gaming websites or like forums and stuff and people were talking about it on the for i mean these it was like a big deal that even gaming people were like talking about it and some people were mad that he would just try to profit off of it. i don't know anyway it's like i don't want to play it i want i want to pay my rent well he didn't have rent but anyway okay so then i also got this was a book it's a ti-85 um it was a dollar and this is not the one that sells for hundreds this one's maybe 15, 20 bucks or something like that. Um, but my kids were really interested in it. So I might just put some batteries in it and let them graph. I was horrible at graphing. What am I going to do <laughs> when it's time for me to teach graphing? And then I picked this up there too. They threw this in. It's a, I, I think it's Fiona from Shrek. Some sort of cereal toy. I just wasn't sure what it was. Saw it at eBay, $6.99 free shipping. Oh, this one, Connie. Go, <laughs> thank you. Well, you know, I was like, okay, it was the only one I saw there. I'll grab it. Um, hey, almost sold it in package for Yes, yes. I remember that. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Okay, then also, this was a buck just because it's the Joker. Because I don't know if he's worth anything or not, but I just picked him up. Why? I don't know. I think it was hot. I was hot. Okay, sliding more stuff. I got more stuff. So I went to this apartment complex was having a community sale. So they had like under the carports, people had set up tables and this guy was selling some games. And so I picked this one up for the kids. It's called sitting ducks. Yeah. And it's like a card game. So this was a dollar. We play a lot of board games, but then he had a free box. I love a free box. Um, blinded by the heat. That's right. I think some of this was blinded by the heat stuff. So this was in the free box. It's a Tapple 10. It's a game. And then this was in the free box. Look, Team Rocket hat. Like in, in like new condition. I don't think it was worn ever. So I don't know what it will go for. I actually, um, hang on. It's buried. Where is it? Where is it? Oh my gosh. I can't find it. I really can't find it. I found it. Good Lord. We'll talk later. Um, so I thought the kids would want it because they kind of like, they're not super into Pokemon, but as soon as I was like, look what else I got, guys. And James was like, hmm, I wonder how much you can get for that. <laughs> and I don't want it. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, I'll find out. I don't know. It's an official Pokemon Team Rocket hat. So. Yeah, anyway. Um, oh, yeah, get a toodle for I'll be okay. Yeah, I mean, I will. There's a lot, and there's co-ops and things. I think we'll be okay. They'll get there. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> this was also a buck. It's like a mixed wood yo-yo. We'll see if they want it or not. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, got a few more things, including some more jewelry. I picked these up just for fun because Randy's really into, hey, hey. <clears throat> Embarrassing ringtone of the day. You don't like my ringtone? I love my ringtone. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, it could be worse. <laughs> so these are spotter cards. So in during World War II, uh, people would try to spot what kind of planes, you know, were flying. And so these are commemorative World War II spotter cards. And they would have like the silhouettes of these airplanes so people could figure out what kind of plane they were seeing. Uh, so I got these for Randy because he really likes airplanes a lot. He basically grew up on a, on a, his dad was in the Air Force. He did a lot of Air Force stuff. So Air, I can't think of it. I can't think of what it's called. Air base, right? So he was on air, lots of air bases. And I tease him because he can look at this, like he, he can spot planes in the sky. I'm like, oh, that's a B-729. And, you know, and I'm like, no, no, I think that's a G, a G-6. I think that's a G6 with a turbo boost engine. Yeah. So I have no idea about planes, but uh, yeah, it's funny. Anyway. <coughs> Yay. I'm sorry. I keep clearing my throat. There's like a lot of dust and stuff. 
Okay, so um, I also picked up, this was 50 cents. So this is a cool picture of some guys fishing. I just thought it was cool. There was only one of them. Showing no mercy, he ruthlessly pierces the helpless minnow with a jagged fish hook. That's what it says on the back. Yep, he is showing no mercy. I'm trying to think of what era this would be. Would you think that's like 40s? Maybe 40s? Anyway, your dad was in the Air Force. Mine was in the Navy. In the Navy. And then I bought some po postcards. These were all 50 cents each. Some I know are not really worth a lot of money because they're, um, you know, I like the Maryland ones. I don't think they're going to be worth any money, but that's fine. I picked them up anyway. Maryland. That is, is Maryland too? Yeah, she's young in that one. There's another Maryland. And then a few others that were just, that's New York. And then I got another New York because it had um, Central Park. So there's that. And a couple others. I just got these because these were the old black and white ones. And I've sold some kind of like this before. Pretty good many. Okay. Yeah. And you know, who? there's a guy. Um, I, I, I need to put out some more postcard stuff because I've got a bunch of postcards once I figure everything out. But um, what's his name? Popeye. It sounds bad, but his, uh, Popeye's postcards. He has a, a, a Facebook page, not Facebook, but YouTube channel where he's like nothing but postcards. So he definitely is somebody to, to check out um, on, on the YouTube about postcards. So I'm just, you know, I know a very minimum. I'm le still in my learning stages, but I will share what I learn. Yes, because that's what I do. Um, oh, hey, Casey Kara. Hi, hi. <clears throat> okay, I'm sure. I was looking back yesterday at the video, and I saw that I missed some comments, and I felt bad because, like, I, like, the whole point is, like, we're here to talk to each other, right? Sort of. Sometimes. Sometimes that's the point. Okay, got more. I still have more jewelry. Okay, so this garage, this was an estate sale and everything was 25% off. So I got some compacts because they're beautiful. So the total I spent at the at this estate sale was $37. So whatever the price is, just all the stuff I show you was $37. So there's this really pretty compact. I think that's like a, I don't know, like an, I don't know what kind of top that is. And that says Stratter? Stratter. I'll have to look at it closer. Stratton. Okay, Stratton, England. Oh, okay. Ha -ha. That makes sense. All right, so we've got that compact. It's in really nice shape. And then there's another one. So this is the other one I got with the really pretty blue flowers. And it is super clean inside. And I don't know if there's a mark or not because it's got that tag there. So that those two, and then I also got this, which I may keep. This bracelet, and it's got all this like Celtic knots and yeah, like almost like Book of the Kells, Book of Kells lettering. No, there's just animals and stuff. And then inside. There are some marks, yeah, and it's really thick and heavy. It's very like for a cuff. It's very heavy, 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 heavy duty. Um, how do you get your motivation for listing when you're so busy being a mom? It's struggle for me a lot of motive. Um, that's a good question. I don't get to list as much as I would like, especially since I started homeschooling, but and moving and everything else. But I think just. Even getting to where like, okay, realistically, maybe just list five things a day. Yeah, I don't list, right? Right now, Dan, you're right. Right now, I don't list. Um, and then what I do is like one day I'll, I'll take like a bunch of pictures. So then I'll just have that to work off of, you know. So that's just kind of, yeah, there. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the marks in there like so and they had this tag with it mulligar i'm not even gonna try to read mulligar pewter ireland is what it says but anyway really thick really heavy really pretty 
possible keeper if I'll wear it. We'll see. Um, let's see what else I got there. So I got something else at that estate sale. What was it? Okay, there's the, oh, it was a pin. Wait, wait, it's UCA. Okay. The reason I paid up on it is because I thought I might, I might keep it. So I work full time. It's hard to balance. I try to list a few items a day. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of, you know, just, I mean, because I'm really, I get really hard on myself. I do. Um, so just knowing like, okay, it's just try to get five things a day or something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Connie says, trying to list on one platform a day so I can focus on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then I got this pin. These guys look familiar, but I can't think of who they are. Maybe you guys can tell me. So I paid, again, this was 25% off. So originally it was seven bucks. So this is the pin. Hmm. I just thought it was unique and was like, yeah, okay. I will take a chance on it because it's, this guy looks super familiar, that one right there. Who is it? Anybody? And his hat is really tall. Are they? Are they? I don't know. I can't remember. Okay, y'all let me know if you know who that is. <clears throat> okay, so then, what else? I got this there. <laughs> Looks like Sylvester Stallone. Um, a little watch, you know, it's not working, but that's okay. Um, that was a buck there. A little watch in the bag for a dollar. And then the rest of this I got <clears throat> at a, it was like maybe the last garage sale I went to, Ben and Jerry. I, know, I, I was thinking one of them, I was like, is that Wyatt or Like the one with the tall hat? I'm like, is that, is that tall hat? Well, maybe that's not Wyatt or I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Oh, awesome, Marcy. Thank you. <clears throat> the Wright Brothers. I, I think it's too old for the Wright Brothers, don't you? I think. Maybe. I don't think it's the Wright Brothers. Clyde Barrow. Okay. Okay, so then at, at this last garage sale, all this stuff was a buck, a buck each. <clears throat> Pardon me. So this is like a, what I believe is like a belly dancer belt. It just needs a little cleanup, but it's, you know, like so. I just need to untangle it and all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I got this bracelet. Like so. It's all twisty with these pointy ends. And, oh, I forgot to show you this other stuff. Oops, I still have some more stuff. I forgot. Um, <laughs> it looks shady, they said. We're gonna look up a picture of Wyatt Earp in a second. This um, bracelet, I don't know. I mean, I was just like, okay, it's, it's cool. And then this one with the leaves I really liked. So let me show you that one. It's got the different gold type coloring leaves, the different metal colored leaves. But it's on this ball chain. That was unusual, I thought. And then I got an M for Margaret brooch. It's got a little pin part there. I got some clip-ons that are silver tone and gold tone art, like so. And then another bracelet. I mean, some of them I'm just like, eh, I'm not in love with it, but that's okay. I, oh yeah, they hit the photographing and measuring. Yeah, I have to do all that like in one go. And then get take the take that and just work from that. I'm looking for a mark on this one. No, I don't see a mark. But there's that one. And then, so at this garage sale, <clears throat> I got some earrings and a bracelet. And these are the earrings. I feel like I've had earrings like this before. You know. <laughs> It's a hot blooded because it was so hot out there, <laughs> and I was at a I was at a uh, an estate sale. They didn't have the AC on inside, and by the time I left, my hair was drenched. I looked like a drowned cat. My shirt. I was I was so glad I didn't run into anybody I knew. 
I mean, my shirt was all like sweaty in the weird spots, you know, that you don't want people to see you being sweaty. You know, ladies, I'm talking about under the chest and on your back. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, and then I, this is the bracelet I got. So, and it's got this little buckle, but it's a magnet, magnetic closure buckle. So that was cool. That was a buck. Okay, was that it? That might be it. Oh, wait, let's look up Wyatt Earp, see if that pin is Wyatt Earp. Let's see. Wyatt Earp. Earp. I don't think it's Wyatt Earp. Maybe. Um, no, because he really doesn't look more like Kurt Russell. <laughs> he does have a mustache, though. A big one. A big one. Hang on. Let me switch it over so you can see. Yeah. See, look at that. He really does kind of look like Kurt Russell. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know who those people are, really. That's a that mustache looks like it would just be it getting in the way. You know what I mean? Don't you think? Like, what are you gonna do with that? That's just a bit much. Sorry, Wyatt Earp. That mustache, it's comical. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I'm looking at it. Anyway, whatever. Okay, there goes my clock. Um that's a big mustache. Is the bracelet silver? I I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think so. I mean, it's kind of tarnished. It's got a mark. Maybe it is. There's the mark there. Yeah, it says 925 on there. Flavor saver. I know. That's a lot of flavor to savor. <laughs> so, I don't know. We'll figure out who these guys are. If you know, let me know. He looks, I mean, that short guy looks like a mobster, though, doesn't he? I, and his tie looks, hmm, yeah. Okay, we will definitely do a little more research on these guys right here. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay, one, one more time. Here we go. Last look at these fellas. Oh, Okay. It looks like Uncle Vinny to me, right? I, I can't tell. I mean, it's... Let me see if I can take the sticker off the back. Because it's like shiny black on the back. Hang on. Let me see if I get any clues. Watch me take the sticker off. And it's like, these two men were stand-up guys. <laughs> yep, there we go. Nothing. It's just like shiny on the back. Maybe do an image search. Oh, that's so smart. Yes, thank you, Debbie. <laughs> Bert and Ernie out of costume. Ah, that could be it. Yes. It kind of does look like Bert and Ernie, huh? <laughs> okay, I'll find out. Or if you know, let me know. Okay, but it was worth, you know, I was like, this is interesting. I haven't seen something like that before. Let me get it. All right, you guys. I'm going to clean up my stuff here and get back to work over here. And, uh, oh gosh, what do we say now? <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Um, and if you're watching later, we, we'd love to have you come hang out with us live because everybody's really nice in the chat. You know, we end up getting lots and lots of views. Um, but come on over and hit the bell so you're notified when I go live because then you can come talk to all these, all the awesome people that come and hang out in the chat. Yeah. They make pictures like that at Frontier Town at Cedar Point. Really? Can I get it in a button like this too? That'd be awesome. I'm just gonna start wearing it everywhere until somebody finally says, hey, nice pin of so-and-so, or how oh, could you wear a pin of them? They're horrible people. <laughs> um, all right, okay, I'm gonna head out, but I'm glad you guys came to hang out today, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody, bye.